everybody for Valentine's Day as we are here at the second annual Wintertime Farmers Market at McCarthy's Village in the Tucket, Rhode Island. So I thought I'd give you a few tips on ways to sweeten up your Valentine meal. And I can't think of a better way to start my Valentine meal than with oysters. I'm here with Harry at Petunic Oysters down in Narragansett, Rhode Island. And you know, oysters are the perfect aphrodisiac for that first course of your Valentine meal. So let's give one a try, shall we? Ooh, thank you. Now, I like my oysters fair, but if you'd like to add a little topping, you can add some cocktail sauce or a little tobacco to spice it up. of your Valentine meal. You might want to put the kettle on for some wonderful tea. How about the sweetheart tea from Carlos and Herbs? Or maybe the sweet dream, the dream blend. And then, if you're really having trouble picking out that perfect gift for your Valentine, how about the pharmacy herbs love box? This love box includes rose massage oil, lover's tea blend, and lavender bath salt. A sweet way to end your Valentine meal. Perfect second course for your Valentine meal. Or some a salad made with baby greens, micro greens. Can't you just imagine a perfect spring day with these greens from Baby Greens right here in Rhode Island? From here. And how about topping your salad with a little bit of goat cheese from Westfield Farms in Huntington, Massachusetts? This goat cheese has wasabi in it. Wow, nice and spicy. We also have a new one to show for you. Baby Greens has teamed with Ocean City Chocolates to make their own line of Baby Green inspired chocolate. So how about this one? Orange and Rosemary Chocolate Caramel. A great main course for your Valentine meal would be some pork loin with, how about a Moroccan spiced pork loin with apples, raisins, an apple raisin chutney, and dry rub the pork with a Moroccan spice, which includes things like ginger root. Cardamom and a little bit of nutmeg and maybe even a hint of cumin, a little bit of mustard powder. Rub that all on your pork before you stick it in the oven. Dice your apples, add some raisins, maybe even a little bit of cider and even a touch of white wine and stick that all in the oven for maybe about 40 minutes or so. Check it when you're done. And I think that makes a lovely meal. And we're here at Cap Pasture Stand, and they're located in Saunders Town, Rhode Island. Enjoy. And I thought, I know you want to warm your way into your sweetheart's heart, but how about Warm it by having some ice cream, and Karen's got some really great flavors. What are you featuring for Valentine's Day? Um, we're going to be having bittersweet chocolate, jasmine orange blossom, um, rose water ice cream, brown sugar and honey quarantine. Yum! So many great exotic flavors. So we're going to try the jasmine orange blossom right now. It's really creamy. Karen, that's lovely. I think any Valentine would love some jasmine orange ice cream from Cafe Layla on their table in a bowl after their wonderful.